Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Honda Accord that generation from year 2008 to year 2012. If you have one of those, you have a problem where brake paddle switch doesn't work and you need to always guys check the fuse first before replacing the switch. Brake lights do not work, cruise control doesn't work because of that problem. Stay with us, we'll explain where the brake paddle switch fuse is located, where you can buy cheap fuses and relays, that way you don't waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered in this video today absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys if you have that honda accord that generation from year 2008 to 12 we'll be making video for every fuse every relay why we do that guys to save you time and money because in the manual it's not clear what the fuses are for on those little bitty labels you have abbreviations that you have no idea what it means and let's say you're down the road you need a fuel pump fuse or you need to find a cigarette lighter fuse because you cannot charge your phone and your navigation doesn't work stay with us guys and we're going to share videos on that channel for every single fuse and relay uh, another thing every single car guys that we get at our garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything the mechanical videos will be on our main youtube channels right there guys all together we have about 1.2 million subscribers we have helped over 1 million people save thousands of dollars and uh, let me show you something else guys if you need to buy relays fuses at a really good price guys we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from that way you don't waste uh, time and money guys uh, because some of those could be really expensive you have those special fuses uh, that are specific honda fuses that could be really expensive hard to find and uh we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can find the fuses realize that way you don't waste your money so the brake paddle uh, switch guys okay brake paddle position switch fuse where it's located we'll demonstrate on a 2010 honda accord fun fact you have three different fuse boxes luckily enough we'll work in just one of them and you need to come guys under the hood on that honda accord right here you will need to open that fuse box here okay that's the main engine management fuse box open that fuse box that cover you will see fuse box layout that will look just like this one here now before we continue guys let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good sometimes they may seem perfectly fine you think it's a good fuse you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse find out it's bad replace it fix your problem so we will have a video how to test a fuse okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys we're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so here guys in that fuse box we'll need to check one fuse and if we zoom in right here okay we'll need to come in that row of fuses over there and the fuse that I need to check you start from that side and you count nine 10 this is fuse number 10 20 m fuse that you will need to check for the brake paddle position switch if you want to see anything else specifically on honda accord drop a comment below guys that way we can help you uh, hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time